Hi, I'm Mark Brzezinski. I'm a senior writer on the home team here at Reviewed, and today we're going to be checking out this Bosch French door refrigerator, the B36 FD50 SNS. This fridge measures 70 inches by 35.63 inches by 32.13 inches. This is a standard depth refrigerator, not counter depth. And we measured its internal capacity at 12.71 cubic feet in the fridge and 4.92 cubic feet in the freezer. Now, both of these are more than the average French door refrigerator will offer you. So this uh, is a French door with a stainless steel exterior. Uh, the main feature on the front is the through the door dispenser, which dispenses uh, filtered water, cubed and crushed ice. And it also has a light built in that activates when you touch it so that you can get that uh, midnight glass of water uh, without tripping and falling over yourself. So opening up the fridge, the first thing that you're gonna notice uh, pretty obviously is the interior LED lighting. Uh, so instead of the single bulb that you typically see in the top center, uh, what we have here are two LED lights embedded in the sides of the fridge on the left and right, and that's going to illuminate the entire uh, main cavity of the fridge. On the doors, we do have a standard array of storage bins. As you can see, there isn't a ton of space to reposition them. They only have a couple of slots on the right and not as many on the left, whereas uh, other competing fridges sometimes let you move those around a little bit more. So for the main body of the fridge, uh, the shelves can actually be repositioned pretty highly. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, open notches in there that allow you to reposition the shelves. Below the glass shelves, you'll find the crispers and then a full width deli drawer. Uh, now, normally we don't talk a ton about crispers because crispers are inherently uninteresting features on a fridge. However, uh, there is some nuance to them. Uh, you want the crisper drawers to uh, release humidity at a certain rate, okay? If, if they don't release any humidity at all, it's going to turn the interior of those drawers into a swamp. However, if they let go of some humidity over time, then what's going to happen is that your, your fresh produce is going to wilt slowly, uh, as opposed to just kind of either rot or, you know, just become desiccated almost immediately. Uh, and these crispers are actually really good. They, they do let out a little bit of humidity, but like it's, it's pretty much in, in the sweet spot. So if you do have a lot of uh, fresh produce, specifically leafy greens that you tend to stock your fridge with, this is going to be a great pick for you. So while a chunk of the interior of this fridge is taken up by the uh, other side of the through the door uh, dispenser, uh, that's the ice maker in the top left, this is, fridge actually has a ton of fridge storage available for you. So if you're looking for a fridge uh, to store a lot of items, again, this is a, this is a very solid pick. Uh, it's gonna give you more storage space than the average French door refrigerator. So one of the main things about this fridge that we like is it has remarkably steady temperatures both throughout uh, its compartments and also over time. So when we test temperature, uh, refrigerators actually need to, to maintain a very narrow band of temperatures. They need to stay between 32 degrees at the low end. Obviously, if you go below that, things are gonna freeze. And they need to stay colder than 40 degrees on the high end because anything faster than that is gonna allow bacteria to proliferate like much more rapidly and is going to really eat into the shelf life of your stored foods. This fridge manages to keep things more or less uh, exactly where they need to be both over time and throughout the interior in both the fridge and the freezer. So one of the smaller ways in which this fridge impressed us is just how little electricity it uses. Uh, so the average French door refrigerator uses about $40 in electricity per year. Uh, and this fridge only uses 30. Now, the reason why that's impressive is because obviously when you open the doors of a refrigerator uh, in either the fridge or the freezer, you're letting out all the cold air. And then the fridge needs to combat all of that new warm air inside by rapidly cooling everything down. Uh, by getting temperatures back to where they need to be quickly, it's going to extend the shelf life of your food. What the Bosch fridge does is it adapts incredibly quickly to any changes in temperature and gets everything back down to where they need to be. However, normally by doing this, a fridge is going to use a ton of electricity. So while saving like 10 or $11 per year might not sound like a lot, if you're working to reduce your carbon footprint, uh, this is a great uh, area to, to knock off a little bit from that. So it also has a relatively standard freezer with a shelf 
that pulls out on the interior to give you a bit of height that you can play with uh, when it comes to organizing. While both drawers uh, in the freezer do have dividers to help you keep things organized, they, there's not as many like storage options in this uh, as we see in some other uh, modern competing French door fridges. So one of the minor complaints that we did have about this fridge is that the shelves in here, first of all, they're glass, which is great uh, and they look great. Uh, but they only have spill capture lips on their front. Uh, you can see that that sort of metal bit that uh, it does look good. However, it's not super functional. If you've ever spilled something in a fridge, you know that the liquid doesn't just run to the front of the shelf. It runs to the sides and back as well. And unfortunately, with these shelves, it's going to drip down. So this fridge does cost roughly $3,000, which is on the more expensive side of things. That being said, uh, between the performance and the aesthetics of this fridge, we think it offers a lot for the, its purchase price. So overall, the pros of this refrigerator are that it has solid temperatures, lots of fridge storage, and a through-the-door dispenser. It also uses less electricity than the average French door. On the con side, really, the only thing it has is that the shelves only have a spill capture lip on the front and not the sides and back. Should you buy this fridge? Probably, honestly. <laughs> this is one of the best fridges we've tested to date. Um, so in terms of temperature, it's it's completely solid. Uh, those temperatures aren't budging from basically the ideal temperature in both the fridge and freezer. It's got a ton of storage in both compartments. Uh, it's got a through the door dispenser. Uh, the only things that we, again, that we didn't like about this are, you know, like it lacks some of the features that other higher end fridges have, like a flex drawer. But unless you're specifically in the market for that, this is one of the best French doors you can currently buy. For the full review, head on over to review.com and thanks for watching.